Welcome back to Easy Spirit 101. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Let's see what y'all need to know. What do y'all need to know? So somebody needs to take further action on something that they're working on here the reason why nothing is coming through like oh it's definitely going to turn out that way nothing is yet set in stone because some sort of further action needs to be put towards it or taken towards something you could literally be an aries or dealing with an aries here i have aries again you could be an Aries or you're dealing with an Aries. I also feel like, not for all of you, but I'm very... It's giving me some sort of image with these two Aries here and then this like turbulent kind of waters in the middle. I don't know why, but for some of you, I feel like somebody might be, somebody might be, um, aggressive towards you, making you believe. I don't know why some of you is a boss, like somebody you work for. This could be someone's boss I'm getting. Um, they're they're coming in like strong and stern and like pushing their energy hard against you and it's it's like they're acting like they have something that they don't it's like what i'm getting between the exterior here is nothing it's this nothing tangible like if you're asking about something tangible it's nothing that's tangible this person might be acting like they have something but really they don't I don't know what that's about, but that could be for somebody here. Meanwhile, I get this is you. You're very close to achieving some sort of goal. You're in your north node. Part of how you got in your north node was by having faith in your dreams, having faith in the unseen, having faith in God. This could have been something that you overcame. Someone was like acting like dangling something in your face and they were being quite aggressive about it, acting like they had something, but in between they had nothing. Some of you, you're still working with this person or for this person. Or for some of you, this is someone um, you're in a relationship with. You're literally being guided that part of why this feels so out of balance. This feels, um, it feels like not sync. It feels not copacetic. Is because you are in your north node in this person you and this person have become unaligned for some of you if you are still connected to this person in some capacity you're literally being told it's time to release this person this is this is your major test this is how you're being tested your commitment to your path and to your faith and to god is being tested by are you strong enough to say no to this person and walk away from this person? I'm telling you, this is coming out as this other, this individual who you're dealing with, their energy here, and everything's coming out in reverse. And this is what this give, is giving me. These like emotions are running high with this, all this water here. This has something to do with this situation. This person is giving you, 
nothing like they're they're boosting their chest and it's it's over a tangible item or issue but the tangible item or issue doesn't really exist this person is like intimidating someone with their personality or with their emotions they may have been trying to worry you or cause you to feel worry or cause you to back down and there's no need to you're actually being tested right now this is like a huge test for someone that this person is deliberately like trying to keep you seeing something the way and it's not the truth of a situation I could be talking to a Virgo. Somebody here, for some of you, it's not a boss. And some of you, it's like a co-worker or something. And you both want the same position or you both want the same, the same, um, like a raise not a raise but you want um you're like applied for another i can't think today i don't know what's going on maybe this is what this person is doing to you this person is trying to like um intimidate you or bully you and, and it's just a lot of show it's a lot of fluff this is why this is like a test for you you like want the same the same um position you want the same corner office or something you want that job and like this this is part of what this is again virgo you could be a virgo i have our sign out here you're someone who's very fair very practical very humble you know how to get stuff done without anyone coming towards you you don't even have to ask for help. You just get it done. Especially with this here. This is like Ace of Pentacles energy. If this is someone's boss or something, the, the guidance is very possibly that your position you're looking for is somewhere else completely. Like you might want to look for, you're being guided away from this person. For some of you, this is just like you're fighting with a coworker for a position and this person is like bullying you and trying to make you, they're trying to um, diminish you. <coughs> God, I almost choked. Someone is trying to uh, create an illusion to get you to tim it down or even withdraw from a situation and you don't need to. This could even be saying that if you ignore this person and keep going forward, this promotion or this this thing is going to be yours especially with this ace of pentacles here For some of you, not for all of you, and here we have like, this is like the Ace of Swords here, just as I'm about to say this. Some of you, this person trying to intimidate you and bring you down or put you in some sort of box or get you to withdraw from some sort of promotion or something. Um, not only are they trying to like bully you and intimidate you, but they also might have been like part of their game plan was they were going to try to seduce you. Like something's getting weird. <laughs> something's getting weird here. <laughs> Definitely, um, you're being guided possibly to just ignore this person or um, kill them with kindness. <clears throat> and you do have two aces out here. Stubborn. I could be talking to a Virgo or a Taurus. Yeah, but this is a, like I'm being drawn to stubborn because this person here, we had this Aries energy. 
Um, this is like a battle of wills, a battle of willpower here. But this is part of why you're going to win is because you're very grounded. You're very earthy. You also think outside the box about things. And this person, this person already has a bad reputation because they are very conflict oriented. Like I would say they're not the most popular individual in the office. A lot of people have got um, a, a bad taste in their mouth with this person because of they get like um they're stubborn. They've got two different stubborn energies coming out here. Yours is more like willpower. You will stubbornly go towards a goal or get something done at no matter what. But you have a very grounded, um, a very mastery. You're like a master at getting something done here. Um, you also might be very charismatic and as well as this Aquarius energy is like, you've got good, you've got revolutionary ideas. Um, where is this other person? Again, some of you are just being told this might be your confirmation that this is like a test. Kill them with kindness. Um, don't get intimidated by this person. Yeah, celebration. Don't back down and don't... Definitely, I don't know why I'm being drawn to... This card says S-E-X on here. Um, I'm being drawn... Like this... Something's getting weird here. Like this person is like battling you. But they also might have been like flirting with you. Something... Something weird here like this. Definitely... You know better. Don't get caught up in that. It's a... Uh, yeah, it's a... It's a tactic... It's another way to try to try to get you in conflict. There's a lot of conflict energy with this person. This person is like, they got their eyes on the gold. It's funny, you both get your eyes set on something and you get determined about something. But the method about how you go about getting it and achieving it is very, very different. And... That could be why someone here, maybe you do actually on some level, you're like, I'm not sure about this. Maybe I am a little intimidated. There's no need to be intimidated because, because of your grounded nature and because you don't leave a bad taste in everyone's mouth with this conflict war energy. I'm also getting like immaturity. This person's very immature. And that's part of why they're um, not the most popular. It's something like this new position. You need to be sociable. You need to be able to get along with everybody kind of thing here. Again, with the innovative and imaginative. This is like as good as yours. Don't fall for something with this person. You could be intimidated because you're like, well, this person's kind of high up in the company the same way I am. And I, I, I don't know why. Maybe they are really good at their job. Maybe they're better at their job than me. This is like some sort of test. Something you're going after is as good as yours. This reading might be kind of short today, but I'm okay with it because I had a thousand false starts. Maybe that's um, maybe that's part of what's going on here. Maybe this person is literally putting obstacles in your path, trying to make you look some sort of way for this promotion or something. You know, with the reconciliation here, I'm really getting like the reason why you embody this energy and you're the perfect candidate for some sort of position or some sort of new job is because you've had this role before in like another lifetime. Like you embody this en energy from a soul deep level. 
I keep getting, yeah, something about past life. For some reason, something you're going through in this situation is um, resembling. Like, you feel like you've been through it before. You have been through a similar situation before. Like, for some reason, whatever this is, there's a lot on the line in this situation. With this job, with this position... I'm also getting this is you and this is like your biggest, this is your biggest, um, this is your greatest tool at this moment. The way you thoroughly like kind of admire things or appreciate things. Also staying grounded. I've been getting that energy through a lot today. Especially dealing with this person. Don't get too up in your head about this person. Because this person's playing some sort of um, games here. Yeah, make the effort in reverse. They're, they're, wanting, they're saying like they want you to back. They want you to kind of withdraw your energy from whatever this person is doing with you. Whatever this person is doing to you or with you. They want you to withdraw your energy from this. So you're in this situation right now because this is like a past life. This is like a past life thing that you've already experienced. And it's coming up again for, for like full resolve. Maybe last time you didn't get it, but you were meant to get it. Something like this here, and when you go through this, and when you pass this test, this will help clear this energy. Also, again, I feel like someone is kind of playing dirty. This, like, other person involved here, this this boss, this co-worker, whatever this is. Um, if this really is a boss, and you're being guided away from this person, this job, whatever... Some of you might need to know why this felt so intense, why this felt the way it felt. You might have even been determined to go further and battle further. And it felt this way because it was meant for like some sort of major, I have past life energy out here twice, especially with this, actually three times. Forgiving and learning is also a past life energy. Um, if you are really being guided away, you're being guided to like back down from a situation if this is a boss and you're not really going to like knock the boss out of position you might be guided to look for this other position elsewhere and know with these two aces that you are going to get it and you might even end up on on top you end up like higher than whatever you were going for here Yeah, stay positive. If it, For those of you, this is your boss and you literally end up, you're, maybe you're kind of afraid to leave this job and go towards another position because what if it doesn't work out? You're being guided to stay positive, stay optimistic, stay deserving. Make sure you are know that you are deserving. That's how you help align with something new here. And this is part of how whatever the situ situation is meant to pan out. I just saw a year from now, so something might be very different between now and next year. There's something better. There's something better. So some of you, this feels very intense. This person that actually might be drawing you, like you're, you're getting determined. This person may actually be like abusing you in some capacity. And, and they're making you feel like you can't do it. You're not good enough. And you're becoming determined because of your nature. And you're actually being guided away from this person. And I don't know why I feel like someone's like boss or coworker or somebody is taking it in another direction too. Like getting inappropriate. Like they also want to, part of why they're doing this to you is like they also want to, they want to sleep with you. They want to sleep with you and they want to fire you. You know, something like this is ridiculous. So this could be why this is your, your test, especially with a strong earth energy. A strong a Taurus, you can hold, Taurus, you can hold your job out for, for a decade, three decades. <laughs> what does Divine Collective need to know? Yeah. 
Don't do something yet. Don't do something yet. Because they want you to work on this. They want you to work on this deserving. They want you to work on visualize yourself having it is whatever it is you're determined to get or go after. They want you to work on this deservingness before you go and apply for this new job. Yeah, I was just going to say, before I even flip this one, this usually comes out as like, they want you to ask us for help. Make sure, and this can be hard for earth signs, make sure you spin it back around and start asking them to help you. Ask your angels, ask for help. They want to help you in this situation. Step back from the situation. This is what this is saying. Step back from the situation. You have what it takes. Somebody's trying to convince you you don't have what what it takes you have what it takes they want you to step back they want you to talk to them about it they want to give you some advice they want to send you in the right place they want to send you to that new job they have for you but they want you to know they want you to turn something around first this is part of why i, I really feel like you're being guided to like move away stop trying to prove yourself to this person that's what i'm getting there's something here about you really feeling like you need to prove to yourself or prove to this person you're giving your power away to this person. This person's a this person's a bleeping weirdo, like seriously, with the like I'm not gonna get into it. This person's coming off very strange, like I wanna sleep with you, I wanna fire you, you know, that kind of thing. This person's like bullying you or something, they're playing with you and they're attracted to you. Which, um, I'm almost getting, this could be specific for someone. Some of you, this person, this person coming out as an Aries or Aries-like individual, they got to this job, they got into this position from, like, like, daddy put them there. You know, like, they didn't earn it the way you earned it. They didn't do the hard work. They didn't go to college and get the degree, whatever it was, someone, someone, whoever this is for, whoever this person is, this person was like, handed this because they knew some, because their, their dad owns a company or something like that. That could be quite literal or it's just an example, you know, use your imagination. Like this person here, like I'm getting, there's nothing between, they don't have any substance between the int intimidation. That is, they're not good at their job. They're just intimidating. And part of the reason they have that energy is because they were handed a position they didn't deserve. Something like this. That's part of what's going on. Again, they want you they want you to talk. They want the spirit wants to talk to you first before you make some sort of major move or transition here deservingness they want you to recognize this situation for what it really is they don't want you to give up they want you to recognize this situation for what it really is they want you to pull out and they want you to they want to redirect you they, and they want you to work on this like this energy here they want you to get ready for this position you and start proving yourself to someone who are you don't even have to prove yourself to them your spirit has somewhere they want you to go and they have the position and this is really giving me like let this thing go part of the reason why you're holding on to it so tight and you're so determined in this to like prove yourself is because this is giving it's it's connected to another lifetime it happened before in the past and it hasn't been resolved this is how you resolve it you just say okay and you let it go so I hope this makes sense for you. I hope it gets where it needs to go or you guys just liked the reading. I'll see you again next time.